Let's talk about Easter dinner. We're making stuffed leg of lamb as the centerpiece of your feast. When you get your leg of lamb, make sure that you can close it up in its natural form and open it up. And then you're gonna make sure to get all of these little fat pieces out with a paring knife or a chef knife. Just get all the little fat parts out. The next thing you're gonna to want to do is make sure that you scored the thicker parts of the meat. You're gonna to wanna to start with your basic seasoning, salt and pepper. This will bring a lot of life to the meat. Get it on there as evenly as possible, and then you're gonna press it all in. Next, you're gonna make your easy stuffing. You're gonna have sun-dried tomatoes, some garlic, some zatar, and store-bought pesto. Use the favorite kind, it's the best. The more pesto, the better. It's just gonna give you a deeper flavor. Be generous with the zatar and lots of garlic. Give it all a nice little mix. When your stuffing is nice and incorporated, it's time to get it on there. Don't be shy. Nice and generous. The more you add, the more flavor you're gonna get out of this stuffed lamb. Lastly, the tricky part. You're gonna to wanna to fold it in on itself in its natural form. Next, you're gonna to wanna to tie up the leg of lamb. Tying the lamb is essential to keep all the flavors and all the fillings in. It also keeps the lamb from falling apart as you're cooking it. After you get your lamb nice and tied up, it's time to transfer it to a roasting pan. Make sure your roasting pan has enough space on the bottom to allow the drippings to settle. Once it's in a shallow roasting pan, get it in the oven for one hour at 375 degrees. After an hour of cooking, it's just slice and serve. If you like these recipes, follow us for more.